It's part four of our conversation with former Grand Funk lead singer, lead guitarist, and leader, Mark Farner. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Grand Funk had huge albums in the 70s, like Closer to Home from 1970, which featured the title tune along with I'm Your Captain. E Pluribus Funk were an American band which featured the title song, All the Girls in the World Beware. And there were hits like Locomotion, Some Kind of Wonderful, and Bad Time. Here's Mark Farner. Uh, Vic Hildebrand asks, I have a couple of Mark's gospel projects. I understand he was a little put off by the Christian music scene. Wondering what he thinks of it now. It is the same because uh, they still operate under 501c3. Remember, the Bible says there would be many wolves in sheep's clothing. Not like you're going to have to look around and search and hire a private detective to see. No. This is way out in the open, blatant, sickening from my point of view, because, you know, I've been to heaven and back <laughs> uh, when I died. You know, I mean, I had my pacemaker put in. I, I was in there. So I know what I'm talking about uh, as far. The only thing is on that side, in that tense, that part of your existence, you know, all things. And you even have the resolve in that, in that state of being for the purpose of these earth years. You know, you know everything. You know everything. Many people would like to know, would like to have that resolve right now. You know, what is the purpose? Uh, but I tell you, uh, it's love. It is forgiveness. Forgiveness is the perfect expression of love because when it is sincere, there is nothing greater, nothing greater. And we are in control of it. So if we want to get some of that, we got to, we got to give some of that, you know, give that forgiveness with the same measure that we expect to be given to us. Do you still have stuff? I ask everyone this. I mean, do you, you know, obviously I was just talking to Steve Luca there. I'm going, Steve, do you still have like a lot of stuff like Toto stuff? And he says, Oh, I'll never sell it. I guess that's money for someone else. I like by keeping my stuff, but do you like memorabilia from the band? Have you kept all that stuff? I kept uh, not all of it. I mean, most of it went away, but it's a piece here, a piece there. And some of it's even behind me, my boy, Howdy can, uh, that I got from cream magazine. Lester Banks was doing the interview and he, he called me the day before they were going to drive up and I'm going to take them for a ride in Northern Michigan on the inland waterway. So we did that, but he says, is there anything I can bring you uh, from the flatlands? I said, yeah, bring me one of their boy howdy cans, you know, because I, I always like to see them on the cover of Cream. They always got that boy howdy. Well, I got the, he brought it to me. God rest his soul. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he was, he started his ar article in Cream with the, that Farner is Nordic for one who farns. Uh, <laughs> Lester Banks. He was a character, eh? Yes, he was. A, a good hearted guy, though. Really good you know, patriotic guy. We'll have more from Mark Farner coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. Buy a t-shirt, help support the channel. If you want to make a donation, there's a link at the very top in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. Take care of yourself.